Now to Washington, where U.S. Attorney General Merrick Garland is responding to Donald Trump's attacks on the Justice Department and defending special counsel Jack Smith. Smith, of course, is leading the investigation that led to 37 felony counts against the former president over his handling of documents marked classified. Robert Costa is at the Justice Department for us this morning. Bob, good morning. Good morning, Tony. For the Justice Department, this is yet another standoff with Trump where its integrity is being assailed by one of the most powerful Republicans in the country. And yesterday, its leader pushed back. Mr. Smith is a veteran career prosecutor. Attorney General Merrick Garland is speaking out for the first time since the indictment of former President Trump and defending special counsel Jack Smith. As I said when I pointed uh, Mr. Smith, I did so because it underscores the Justice Department's commitment to both independence and accountability. His defense comes after Trump has repeatedly attacked Smith. I've named him deranged Jack Smith. On Tuesday, Trump pleaded not guilty to 37 felony counts for allegedly retaining classified documents after he left the White House and failing to turn them over to Justice Department investigators. On the campaign trail, a number of Trump's 2024 rivals are beginning to express concerns about the charges. I can't defend what is alleged. I know the risk that, uh, as I said, even inadvertent uh, release of classified information about our national security could present to our armed forces. But while former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley has criticized Trump's alleged actions, she says she would be inclined to pardon him if convicted. When you look at a pardon, the issue is less about guilt and more about what's good for the country. And I think it would be terrible for the country to have a former president in prison for years because of a documents case. Other 2024 contenders say, hold on. It's simply wrong to be discussing a pardon whenever we really have not gotten the facts out. Despite these legal challenges, Trump and his campaign continue to project confidence, claiming they have raised more than $7 million since Trump was indicted. Still, some sources close to rival Republican campaigns, they tell me they sense Trump is growing increasingly vulnerable. Tony? And speaking of rivals, Bob, it looks like another Republican has joined the race against Donald Trump to replace uh, him on a Republican ticket, and it's another Florida man. What can you tell us about this? Another Florida man. That's right. Miami Mayor Francis Suarez is set to officially join the Republican presidential race today, making it official as the first Latino Republican candidate to join this field. Suarez is one of now three Republicans vying for the Republican nomination, joining Trump and Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. Suarez does have some support in Miami, but this will be his first test on the national stage. And as part of that, he will speak tonight at the Reagan Presidential Library. Tony. Bob, thank you very much.